Hi, it's Corrine for the Wild Orchid Crafts Design Team, and today I have another wedding album to share with you today. I will put links in the description box below for a mini album tutorial that I have on my channel, how I make my mini albums. It's going to be a different size than the one I show you today, but the concept is the exact same. And I used Laura Dennison's Stack the Deck Binding System, so I will put a link in the description box as well for her uh, tutorial on that. And you'll also find links to Wild Orchid Crafts and all the products that I used from Wild Orchid Crafts today. So check out the description box for more information. So this is a custom ordered album and I was told that the colors of the person's wedding that I'm making this for is cream, black, and red with gold accents. So the paper collection I chose, I used two different ones, both from Authentique. The first one is called Faith, and this is an absolutely beautiful collection for any wedding album. You could even probably use this for a baby album. It's just a beautiful, soft collection. And then I used the Irresistible by Authentique as well. Because this one, again, the colors are black, cream, and red. So this one has a lot of black and cream in it, as well as black and white. So I used both of these collections. And the album today is an eight and a quarter by eight size album, huge chunky album, which are my favorite to make. Again, using Laura Dennison's Stack the Deck Binding System. I used some beautiful black satin ribbon and just kind of uh, made a bow out of it, added a rhinestone buckle with a large pearl from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I wanted to do something a little bit different with this album. Um, on the side here, I used a cameo cutout, a border cut. And if you can see, on every single one of the scallops, I added little tiny pearls. So it was a little bit tedious, but I think so worth it. I, I added them with glossy accents to make sure that they really adhere well. And I added some flower clusters. Again, red is one of the colors of the wedding, so I made sure to add red throughout. And then the cream flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I used some of their white flowers, but they were very stark white, so I um, tapped some stamp on them, a stamp called, uh, it was a chalk ink stamp, and it's alabaster. So it gave it a little bit more of a cream color than that stark white. On the front here I used um, a large die cut that I matted about four or five times to make it dimensional. And as you can see it says Mr. and Mrs. And I wanted to do something different with the closure. I wanted to put a closure on this one, so I added a um, chipboard closure that is held on with magnetics, uh, magnets, excuse me, very strong magnets. So it just opens up like this and it adheres down. So it looks pretty without it or with it. And when you open this up, I have been doing accordion um, frames in the front of my albums and the purpose of that is because you can get a lot more photos in it. Well I found this on the Silhouette online store and I purchased it. I love this cake and it comes with flowers already on the decoration. I added some red flowers to match the colors of the wedding as well and I did Mod Podge this and I did about five layers of this to make it very strong. I used some cream satin ribbon and that's what's holding it closed. And then when you open it up, you have a bunch of spots for three by three photos to add in here, both the front and the back. So I think it's, um, first of all, I think it looks really pretty, but I think it's a great way to add more photos into your album. On the side here, this is the last name of the person getting married, so I designed this on the um, silhouette and I put their wedding date. I added a little bow that matched with a self-adhesive pearl from Wild Orchid Crafts in the center of it. I have a little glue string here. And then for the pocket, they can add more photos to this pocket. I added a journaling spot or a mat for photos and it says all because we fell in love. I added some red flat back pearls and this is from the Faith Paper Collection. It says special moments so they can journal on that. Every single page has a large pull out mat so they can add lots of journaling with a white pen. Um, or they can add photos, several photos or one large photo. I won't pull these all out, but it's just a bracket on the end of that that I designed in the Cameo. 
On this side I have a heart pocket and I added some trim to the edge of the heart and I added a black mat to the heart and then some of the cream paper collection. And in the center of the binding I added a cream piece of paper just to break it up a little. And another photo mat and it says and they lived happily ever after. So that just tucks in here. She can also add photos into this as well. And a pocket on the side here with the photo mat with the paper collection. Again, these are the colors of the wedding plus gold, but I just could not, no matter how I tried, I could not work gold into this album. It just did not look right. So the colors of the wedding are black, red, and cream with gold accents, but I just couldn't get gold in here and have it look right. I added a chrysanthemum in red and some of the leaves from Wild Orchid Crafts. And these are the liquid pearls on the edge of this bracket pocket that I made. On this side is a large frame, again from the Silhouette Online Store. I added some of the flowers and leaves. I also added some of the self-adhesive pearls in a few places here. And then I did add two little wedding rings that I got from the wedding section a long time ago and tuck those in there. So they can add a little square photo on here, a two and a half square photo. On this, there's a large photo mat that I backed with some of the flat back pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. I added their flowers here, a chrysanthemum, a wild rose, and a cottage rose. Again, all the products codes will be in the description box below. On the side here, I did the wedding bells with their last name in it. And this is magnetized. It flips open to give more space for journaling or photos. And then this flips down. Again, for more journaling, I would say here. And then if they wanted to, they could even add a photo here. I lined the pocket with some of the flat back pearls and added two mats in here. This is from the Faith Paper Collection. It says, Happy Thoughts Only. I love that it's double-sided. And I added a photo mat that says, Our Wedding. So those just tuck in here. And again, it's magnetized. On the side, I made a side pocket, added some of the beautiful tulips and Tuscany rosebuds and a chrysanthemum. I added a little cabochon and one of those glitter balls. I absolutely love those. I also lined the pocket with some of the trim from Wild Orchid Crafts and added a couple more of the cutouts from the paper collection. So they can add photos in this pocket a large spot for either a large photo or several, several photos. On this side I used some bling trim that I had in black since it goes with the um, wedding colors. I added a little bow and a little red flat back pearl. Here's another large photo mat. It says here's to love and laughter and happily ever after. And I made sure to print those in black and red so it coordinates with their wedding colors. Again they can add photos in this pocket. On this side, I made a bracket pocket and added the word true love. I added several mats in this pocket. This one says happily ever after. This is just the paper, which I love, and then some of the Wild Orchid Craft flowers and another cut apart. On this side, I did a magnetic closure so it flips open where they can add lots of journaling or if they wanted to add little photos they could probably fit two and a half square photos or maybe even three by three photos on this and a large photo on this page. It's magnetic closed. On this side I added a, a photo mat. Here's a label that says true love. One of the gardenia flowers and a couple more of the ivory flowers with some leaves and some of the self-adhesive pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. On this side I made a pocket that as you can see says Mr. and Mrs. I added some bling and she did ask me to work in a um, motorcycle in there that says just married so I, that's why I added that on this mat so they can put a photo on this add uh, photos to this pocket and it's a scallop pocket. On this side I did a side belly band. I used some of this beautiful trim from Hobby Lobby in cream so it goes with the wedding colors and some pull out mats here, uh, one of the cut aparts. This I printed from the Cameo and cut that out and it's left open so they can put a tag in here or a small photo if they want 
photo on the back that just slides right back in. They can also add more photos to this as well. On this side, I did a flip up and I used a scalloped edge and I did two of them. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that on camera. I offset them just slightly and this, I used some satin ribbon. This flips open so there's more room for more pockets. This flips down. I love this paper, it's so pretty. And then that has a magnetic closure as well. And on this last page, this is probably my favorite page. I folded this down and I left it to where it's a little dimensional. Let me pick it up so maybe you can see that on camera. I added a tiny little bow with a flat back pearl. And then I added a photo mat with some of the beautiful Sweetheart Blossoms. Or these are Cosmo Daisies actually from Wild Orchid Crafts. A photo mat. They can add more photos here. And on this last page, it's room for a large photo. There's a little bit of glue string. Um, and then I use these gorgeous flowers in these Gypsophilia flowers in red so it matched the paper collection. I lined it with the flat back pearl. And that's my entire album, so I hope she likes this album. Again, this has really strong magnets on it so it stays closed. And um, that way it gives it a unique look. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project. I will link all the products used down in the description box. And please check out Wild Orchid Crafts for all these gorgeous flowers. Thanks so much for watching.